Okay, today we're going to solve these two examples here on the board. For each of the following functions, find the indicated derivative using the definition. When you say derivative, that is the, the slope. Now, we have the slope at 2. F prime 2. Remember, F prime x means the slope of a tangent line at x comma f of x. So that is why if I will say f prime 2, that will be f prime 2, that will be equal to the slope of a tangent at 2, f at 2. Okay? So I hope that is clear to everybody. Now, let us solve first the function at 2. So, f at 2, that will be x squared minus 4x plus 1. So, we will substitute 2 in every x of the function. So, that will be 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 1. So, that will be 4 minus 8 plus 1 or that is equal to negative 3. This is f at 2. Okay? So we have now an ordered pair 2 and negative 3 in which the tangent line passes through 2 negative 3. So we are going to solve the slope of a tangent line that passes through this point 2 and negative 3. So I have here the graph of the function x squared minus 4x plus 1. So, looking at 2, negative 3, so here is the point 2, negative 3. What do you think is the tangent line passes through this point? So, if we are to graph the tangent line, the tangent line is a horizontal line. This is not a perfect horizontal. So, this is a horizontal line. Since this is a horizontal line, we expect that the slope is zero. Now, we are going to solve if really the tangent line that passes through 2, negative 3 is a horizontal line and the slope is zero. So, we are going to solve using the formula. Using the formula, we have the slope is equal to y minus y sub 1 or another term is y minus y sub 0 over x minus x sub 0. If I am going to assign this one is x sub 0 and y sub 0, okay, and y is equivalent to fx, so I will change this one to f of x minus, okay, y of 0 over x minus x of 0. So, that will be f of x is x squared minus 4x plus 1. Then, minus y sub 0, we have negative 3 over x minus x of 0 is 2. So, that will be x squared minus 4x plus 4 because negative times negative is positive. So 1 plus 3 is 4 over x minus 2. Now, if we are going to solve for the limit as x approaches 2, so that will be limit of x squared minus 4x plus 4 as x approaches 2 over x minus 2, right? As x approaches 2 in the function. So, that means we are going to substitute here. But if we are going to substitute directly, the problem is the denominator. Because 2 minus 2 is 0. So, we will apply the factoring. So, that will be limit. The factor of x squared minus 4x plus 4 is x minus 2 and x minus 2 over x minus 2 as x approaches 2. So cancel the x minus 2. What is left is the limit 
at x minus 2 as x approaches 2 and that is equal to 2 minus 2 and that is 0 by substitution. 2 minus 2 is 0. That is why we come up with the right solution because based on the graph, the tangent line is a horizontal line. And since it is a horizontal line, so the slope is 0. So without this graph, we can still solve the slope of a tangent line at a certain point using the definition of derivative. Okay, let's proceed to number 2. f of x is equal to x over x plus 4. We are going to solve for the slope at negative 3. So f prime negative 3 means... Okay, f prime negative 3 means we are going to solve for the slope of the tangent at negative 3 comma f at negative 3. Now we are going to solve first the function at negative 3. So we have f of x is equal to x over x plus 4. So we are going to solve at negative 3. So that becomes negative 3 over negative 3 plus 4. So we have negative 3 over 1 because negative 3 plus 4 is 1 or in short that is negative 3. This is f at negative 3. So we have now the ordered pair negative 3 and negative 3. Now we're going to solve for the slope of a tangent line that passes through the point negative 3 and negative 3 in the function x over x plus 4. That is what means for f prime negative 3. So if we're going to assign this one as x of 0 and y of 0 and the slope is equal to f of x minus y sub 0 f of x means y right over x minus x of 0 so f of x we have x over x plus 4 minus y sub 0 is negative 3 over 1 so to make both fractions over negative 3 minus, sorry, not negative 3, x minus negative 3. So let us continue the process. So we have x over x plus 4 plus 3 over 1. Because negative times negative is positive. Over, we have x plus 3. Let us solve first the numerator. So the numerator will be uh, x plus 4 x plus 4 divided by x plus 4 is 1 times x so we have x plus x plus 4 divided by 1 is x plus 4 times 3 so we have 3 times x plus 4. I hope you are following over x plus 3. Next we have x plus 3x plus 12. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 4 is 12. Over x plus 4, then over x plus 3. So we come up with x plus 3x is 4x. We have 4x plus 12 over x plus 4 okay x plus 4 over x plus 3 of course we are going to use the denominator 1 for the denominator now uh, this is two fractions dividing two fractions so that will be 4x plus 12 over x plus 4 the reciprocal of this times 
1 over x plus 3. Now take note, we can cancel out what uh, a factor of 4x plus 12 and x plus 3. Why? Because 4, that is x plus 3, if we're going to factor, 4 times x is 4x, 4 times 3 is 12. Over x plus 4 times 1 over x plus 3. Cancel that x plus 3. So what is left is 4 over x plus 4. Now we're going to... Uh, we're going to solve for the slope 4 over x plus 4. Find the limit. I mean. So that will be the limit of 4 over x plus 4 as x approaches what? As x approaches negative 3 right as x approaches negative 3 so that will be limit 4 over negative 3 plus 1 as x approaches no 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 uh, we will not use limit here okay substitute so we have 4 over negative 3 plus 1. So that will be 4. No, this is plus 4. Over 1. Or that is 4. So this is the slope of a tangent line that passes through negative 3 and negative 3 in the function x over x plus 4.